G'day, welcome to Geoterex Outdoors Australia. I'm Ralph and in this video I'm doing a review of an IKEA backpack. I think it's pronounced Valdens. I was at my local IKEA store and walking around looking for some bits and pieces and I spied this and a few others in a, in a series of backpacks that IKEA design and manufacture. Who'd have thought it? I didn't know that IKEA did backpacks, but here we are. And this backpack, I had a look at it in the shop and I was immediately impressed with some fairly decent features. So here we go, IKEA. There's the, the IKEA logo. It's manufactured in Vietnam, designed by uh, IKEA in Sweden. And it's advertised on the IKEA website as a travel bag. And that's fairly evident. That's got simply, it's got the shoulder straps. It doesn't have a waist strap. It doesn't have drink holders, which isn't a bad thing. It just means that it'd be okay to, to travel as an overnighter. As far as a hiking backpack, it doesn't have some of the regular features, but short hike, I think uh, would be fantastic. All right, so let's have a look at some of the features. There's two front, pouches one that's a little larger there and a top flat one which you can fit a fairly generous amount of stuff into it's got this fantastic back pouch here fit an a3 pad quite well i do a bit of drawing illustration and painting this is going to be a fantastic bag for that as well as other things then you've got the main pouch. So the whole pack is, is rated to 10 gallons. Now, <clears throat> there's a difference between 10 Imperial and 10 um, US gallons. It's about 36 to 44 litres on the tag here. It's actually got that it's 36 litres. But I think it configures a little bit better than that. <laughs> I'll just put this in for, for packing. I can imagine using this as, a, as an overnighter with, uh, with, oops, my undies and socks and uh, shirts and various other bits and pieces. It, uh, it's big enough to put a whole lot of clothes for, for an overnighter, jackets and all sorts of stuff. It opens and has these two fantastic mesh pouches, which, you know, you put your toiletries in. I've got, typically here, I've got toothpaste, toothbrush, and, uh, and various other bits and pieces, bit of soap. This is a nice little arrangement because you actually see what you're looking at where the, the front ones you could put a, your travel documents, passport, whatever, and it's the right size for an, uh, a carry-on. So it works actually quite well in that regard. I love the lining, it's beautiful color, and I think that would be fairly water resistant. I'm not sure it'd be waterproof. <clears throat> So let's have a quick look at the backpack system here, the, the shoulder straps. And the fantastic little feature here is that they haven't got the webbing and a little plastic clip. They've actually got metal clips there that just clip straight on. And they've got this pouch at the back here that the shoulder straps can fit into largely out of the way. And then you can configure the bag through a handle at the top or the handle at the side to be as a, um, as a bag that you can carry and then fairly easily and quickly whip out the shoulder straps and connect them in and you've got yourself a handy backpack. There we go. I'll just stick that water bottle back in. And it goes on. And the sizing is fairly generous. So there you have the IKEA backpack. I tell you what, I've already used it this week. I had to do a work trip and uh, I used it for, for camera gear and uh, computer in the back uh, as well as a couple of pads 
various bits and pieces. I had a, I was overnighting for a few nights and, and had a bigger pack for clothes, but I really was impressed with this configuration. And this is gonna be a fairly regular bag for me to use. When I do my gear reviews, I give a, a score out of five. I'm actually gonna give this pack uh, a 4.75 out of five. And I'll tell you why. Firstly, it's advertised as a travel pack, and as a travel pack, it's spectacular. It has very generous pockets, very good arrangement. You can even put your laptop and various other bits and pieces in there. The only one feature that I'd mark it down for is when you actually pack your shoulder straps away. <clears throat> I can imagine that this would possibly give way and you could have stuff coming out and as far as Ikea's design ethic or design ethos goes I, I think that's an improvement that they could possibly make if you have a look at that that that's untidy and uh, and I'm, I'm I, that's about the only thing that I could say that that isn't up to Ikea's usual standard so there you have it 4.75 out of five pop down to your local ikea store have a look there's quite a few others in the range i'll put a couple of photos just so you can see the valdens has got a number of variations and sizes as well but i'm very impressed hey if you've enjoyed this video please give us a like and thumbs up please subscribe to the channel for further videos to come out please share it with like-minded friends and thanks for watching.